Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Michael, the one, the only, the Iron Horse Historian. Today, we will be talking about the GEEL2B. In the 1940s, the Virginian was ready to replace their aging side rog box cab electric locomotives. Coal trains have been getting heavier, and the box cabs are found wanting. General Electric would be the company for the job, and they came up with a design based on their 5,000 horsepower rectifier motors designed for the Great Northern Railroad. This design would create the General Electric EL2B in 1948 and would officially replace the old side rock box cabs. They were assigned to the electrified portion of the Virginian between Roanoke, Virginia and Elmore, West Virginia, hauling the black diamonds of the Appalachian Mountains. Out of the shop, the EL2B came built with eight B-type trucks per semi-permanently coupled pair, and since they were electrics, the EL2B got its power via an 11 kilovolt catenary system. They came built with two AC synchronous motors, four DC generators, 16 GE 746 DC traction motors, and a whopping 16 driving axles. They had a top speed of 50 miles per hour, a starting tractive effort of 260,000 pounds, a continuous tractive effort of 162,000 pounds, a weight of 1,033,832 pounds, a length of 150 feet 8 inches, and for the horn, the EL2B came up with a Leslie A200. While many railroads, such as the Milwaukee Road and the Pennsylvania Railroad, used electric locomotives, the Virginian was the only operator of the massive EL2B electric locomotive. The EL2Bs were solid workhorses for the Virginian. What they lacked in speed, they made up for in sheer power, all 6,800 horsepower of it. Into the 1950s, the ELCs Another product of General Electric would augment the massive electrics, but time was running out for the 133 miles of electrified trackage. In 1959, the Virginian and the Norfolk and Western merged into one, and the latter had little interest in the electric line. Shortly after the merger, all of the EL2Bs were retired and all were scrapped. To add insult to injury, the NNW ceased electric operations on June 30th, 1962. The ELCs were sold to new owners, and the EL2B faded into the history books. While sadly no EL2Bs made it into preservation, we do at least have photographs, scale models, and other Virginian electrics in preservation. 